Oh yeah, I forgot to include this little, my little thing I was going to do in the live stream. But I'll do it here in this little segment. So, in the, you know, the Nick Jr. shows that I watched, one of them being, you know, the Backyard Again, the Mama Whoopsie, I, when I was watching the, you know, UK dubs of the Nick Jr. shows, I found something really interesting. And so, this will be kind of a little game for the viewers. Now, with these two plushies that I'm about to hold, what... What does what does these two plushies have to relate with each other? So here's Pablo the Penguin in the backyard again. And here is Wubsy from Wawa Wubsy. Now with these two plushies and like from the two shows, how are these two connected somehow? That's the question I'm going to ask you. How do these two characters relate to each other? So, I'll tell the answer at the end of the video. Do, do. Hi, I'm Pablo. Do, why the, no, my name's Austin. I'm usually last. Do, do. Hi, I'm Whoopsie. You're on our show. Be quiet, you. Where, 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 where? Hello, my name is Pikachu Master 542, and well, come everyone to my new junior rating show. I'm not singing the rest of this song because that's all I have. Hi, Pablo. Yes, I know, Pablo. Show. Hey, Pants. Yes, I know. I made that for you yesterday, Pablo. <laughs> Alright. First off, I'd like to say to you guys hello there, and welcome to my first ever ranking video. Crowd. Be quiet. Use your imagination. Seriously, why can't you be like the backyard again? Because I don't sing about random songs and play imagination. You're just jealous because they got a few more seasons than you did. So, anyways, greetings, everyone. Welcome to my Nick Jr. Rankings video, Nick Jr. Show's Rankings video, but up. Now, in this awesome ranking video, I'll be ranking, ranking, all 37 shows of, of Nick Jr. that I watched or remembered. That I found on the internet. Now most of these shows I have definitely watched. While the rest of them. I have a faint memory or two. Out of childhood Nick Jr. shows. Okay. Press it. Press it. Okay. Alright, alright. So we make 37 shows. Okay. So this tier has this. Let's see. Now we keep this. Let's keep this. Let's keep this. So this is my... Alright. So this will be my tier list. Which will be the following. My childhood shows. Okay, the ones, the few shows that that I I consider my childhood and I would watch forever, what even even when I become a parent, and a grandparent. Good shows. Category will be, it's a good show. Probably watch it once in a while. Then we have 
okay show, which means I've seen like an episode or two. It's a cool, it's a cool show. It's an okay show for me. Haven't seen. Basically means I have not seen this show at all, so I have no opinions on it. And then, cool theme, and one with cool theme song like, I never watched the show, but it has a rocking theme song. Rock and roll. So, how we're gonna do this is we're going to draw numbers from a hat out of the thirty-seven shows. So we're gonna be drawing one through thirty-seven of the of the thirty-seven shows that I wrote down here. And the first one number we're gonna rank will be the number that I select will be the show that I rank. So let's get this started. Okay. So we chose it's probably be backwards for you. Number six. Okay. So the first show that we're going to rank is number six. Gola 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 Island. So the first show we have to rank is Gola Gola Island. Now, here's my honest my honest opinion about it. I have never seen this show, it's, but my brother has watched it when he was young. It has a good show, huh. but I have no opinions on it, so I wouldn't. I would put it, I haven't seen it, but it has a cool theme song, so I'll... Okay, good, it has to... has a little image for Golden Little Island, so... Cool theme song. Right, so now let's... Pick the next number. <laughs> number five. Number five is Eureka's Castle. Okay, so this is the image for Eureka's Castle. My opinions on it, I have never seen this show either. Or I haven't even listened to the theme song, so. It will be, it will be said to have it seen it. Okay, there's Rhea, Eureka's Castle. Haven't seen. So next show, shake, 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 shake. Is there to be an, a double digit number? Number one, and that show is. I know. I watched some of the episodes. Bubble Cuppies. <laughs> No, they want to reload. Okay, so anyways. So yeah, that's the one show that I like, and I like occasionally watch it. So, I think I remember watching like the first few, like the first season or two. Which, fun fact, the blue fish named Gil is voiced by Zachary Gordon, who also portrayed Greg Heffley in the the Diary of a Wimpy Kid movie trilogy, which that's those only three movies that are catted to me. Okay, let's see. So my memories on Bubble Guppies is. It's okay show I watched like maybe a couple of episodes here and there. But that was a time when my parents were like, You can't grow up and stop watching these kids shows. Yada 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 So then I had to watch the kitty shows in private. While other teens would watch inappropriate shows on the internet. AK porn. 
Okay, so I'm going to put this at a good show. There's some episodes I like. I can remember the one with the restaurant episode and the one with the sad rhino episode. Oh, and also where one of the fish got hurt and had to go to the hospital episode. Yep, yeah, but that's it about bubble companies. Okay. It's in the good show. Good show, everybody. Go, jolly good show. Okay. So next number we got is number 28, I think. Okay. This is a show I definitely grew up with, and it's Yo Gabba Gabba! I'm not using the whole song. But I like this show. It has been one of my childhood shows that I watched. My favorite episodes was, I think it was the first episode, which was EAT! Where, bro, where it was about eating. They ate food. Roby ate a good lunch. They had snacks. Tootie didn't like yogurt, so Flex and Muno sang about trying foods and funny little skits in between. Oh yeah, also I loved, I loved the funny little skits in between. Like the, like some Cause some like you know some like the kids dress up in like the like the little outfits but with, with the characters on it, and some like there's some like they're like you know like playing, passing by screens, in which there's like some fun little animations of the of like the kids, either playing a game or doing or doing something crazy or introducing themselves. Okay, so I have a lot of good memories of that show, and also meeting Moodle's family. Which I didn't know they had a family, because I thought the five of them were just, you know, a family, even though they all weren't related. At all. So, I'm going to put, no, not this show. So, I'm going to, let's see, where's your Gabba Gabba? Come on, okay. I'm going to put this show in my... Yep, shouted shows. Shake, shake, shake. I think this is 26. So the next show is... Okay, now this section beware. If, you, if you're a person that doesn't like bugs, or shows related to bugs, skip this part of the video. And to the next section. Okay, you have been warned. The next show that we're talking about is Miss... Let's see, what was it called? Miss Spider Sunny Patch Friends. <sighs> My memories of this show. It's an okay show. I watched like maybe like a few episodes. But I can't tell you what episode number... But I can't tell you what episode I can even tell you about. But I like the theme song. That's all I can say. I have no... I, I, can't, I can't tell you any episode that's my favorite. Because they all blend together. And also there's this, like, this crazy, this grumpy white spider. That I remember for some reason. Okay. Thank you. 
Okay, so I'm bringing okay show. Let's see. Sorry about that. Okay, so let's move along. I'll put Miss Sunny Pat's friends in OK Show. I can just put just probably get the image of it and and Photoshop it. Number fourteen. Now the next show that we have here is the Wonder Pets. We oh dang I forgot the rest of this of the thing. Uh been so long since I watched that show. Hey, Akai. I mean Evie and I Akai, how was your day? Oh, it's going good. I'm currently doing we're currently ranking new junior shows. And we're on currently on what the uh, let's see. The sixth show that I watched when I was a young baby. Okay, so I would rank the Wonder Pets a good show. Because to tell you the truth, even though to tell you the truth, even though I like the show, I cannot tell you what episode I can remember. But I remember the theme song. Or try to remember the theme song. And I like it. I have good memories of it. So it's a good show. Also, it's another one that has a UK dub. Also, Miss. Let's see. Let me see. Call again. Miss Spider Study Patch Friends. Alright. So. The next. Here we go. Let's do the next one. Number twenty-nine. Is it there? So any shows that are not on the tier list, I'll just skip. This the show that I've skipped was called Olivia. It's basically like Peppa Pig, but I think maybe for US, for US, like for US, maybe. What was it? Who's in Canada? I have no idea. But anyways, it was I put in OK Show because I can't remember it. All the episodes. All I know there was one episode where there was another Olivia and everyone got confused. But that's it. But I like the theme song. It's kind of cute. Okay. So next. Number 9. Okay. This show. So this is the next show, the infamous one, kind of like their version of Spongebob, except this show made you feel like an idiot. No, I'm not updating Chrome. Memories of Dora the Explorer. It's an okay show. I only remember one episode, which was when, when Dora's grandma was making chocolate, and they sang a chocolate song. I think the song goes like, Bate, bate, chocolate, bate, bate, chocolate, make your chocolate, chocolate, bate, bate, chocolate. That's it. And also another episode where there was like a singing frog, he kept saying, cookie, cookie. Those are, oh yeah, and also another episode which Dora and Boots are like dressed up for like, I think, trick or treating or something. And they had to, and they had to bring home like a little monster who got lost or something. 
It was funny because it was in Spanish, which I didn't know any Spanish when I was young. So I was like, a deer in the headlights going like, uh-huh, uh-huh. What are they doing? Who is that character? So yeah, I didn't know that. I didn't know what the hell they're saying. Gotta say, it wasn't like an annoying show for me, but but I have been watching it a long time and watching clips is like watching some clips of it. I'm like, you know, kids are much smarter than than you give them for, because literally, like Dora will be like, "Do you know where the couch is?" And then you'll be like, "Behind you, behind you!" And like, "Do you know where it is?" Like, "Behind you!" Like, "Oh, it's behind me!" Yay! And there's Goose like, "It's behind me!" And my turtle, your right depression. Okay, so. Okay, there's the image. It was an okay show. I know, sorry, all you diehard Dora the Explorer fans. Don't! Don't hurt me! Okay, but I can say, Dora the Explorer, way better than Caillou. That little bread, super annoying. I wish I could forget Caillou. Oh, I looked at the thing. Okay. So next we have is... Number 21! Okay. Oh, hey, Don Pelion. How was your day? Okay. I'm doing good. Just doing a different video, which I'm breaking. Nick Jr. shows. Cause back in my day when I was super young, I used to, I either watched Cartoon Network, Disney Channel, or Chaos Disney at the time, or Nick Jr. Before it became a separate channel. And we're currently ranking shows on from Tears going on going from from my childhood shows. Good shows, okay shows, haven't seen it, and cool theme song. So those are my five rankings. And this is the next show that we're currently on, which is Maggie and the Ferocious Beast. Which looks like a nice beast. So let's see, my memories on this show. I watched like an episode here or there, and I know about the show, but I haven't watched a lot of it. So, hmm. yes, I've seen like a few episodes here or there, but I can't tell you what episode I remember at all. I like the theme song. Show you guys the current list. So this is where Dora has been on the OK Show list. Okay, so let me check. <laughs> All right, so I put Maggie and the Ferocious Beast at OK Show. So the next one, oh, OK. Yeah, have here is number eleven. Blues Room, a spin-off of Blues Clues, which, luckily, I have a DVD. Wait so freaking long on the DVD, on the DVDs I have. So this is one of the few DVDs that I own of Blues Room, which is Holiday Wishes. Let's see, which contains four episodes, because... Back in my day, we used to have, we used to buy VHS tapes and DVDs for four bucks. Well, not four bucks. With four, or with three or four episodes on them. If it cost four bucks, that would be a steal. But it costed almost 30 bucks for each DVD or VHS tape. So yeah, that's the DVD that I have. Oh yeah, and also I got it from my local Goodwill for, a lot, for around a few bucks. 
So let's see. My memories of this show. I didn't know it existed. Well, I did know, and I watched like a few episodes. I remember renting this from the my local library. And I think I, I think I it was overdue because I wanted to watch them. I, I wanted to watch it during the Christmas, during Christmas, during the Christmas season. So I like the show, but I can't tell you what episode I can remember that from. Okay, let's see. Okay, that out here. Oh, hey, King Bactus, how was your day? Oh. So let's see. So, all right. So well, let's see. Oh, my birthday! My birthday weekend was cool. We went to a baseball game, and and had a great time. Okay, so now we're at number eight. Hmm. Well, this show I remember fondly, and now it's almost gone to extinction because of certain, for a certain somebody. Okay, come on, why can't I spell? So yeah, at the time, I liked the show a lot, but now, now this show can't be can't air anymore because of the certain somebody that's related to the show. If you know what I mean, then yeah. So the next show that we're going to talk about is Little Bill. Yeah. So, okay, without mentioning that person, I liked this show a lot when I was young. I remember what episodes I liked. God. Damn, I'm trying to remember the episodes. But I can't remember. It all blends in. What I can tell you is, I liked that show. But then I had to take it off because of that certain somebody who I will not name. Yeah, and that's all I'm going to say about it. No, no, oh, dang it, not under, okay. So, let's see, I'll bring Little Bill in the, come on, in the OK Show. Being very slow, good thing I'll edit this down later. Number 25. Okay, this show. <laughs> uh, I love that show. Okay. Don't get rid of that. Now this is the next show that I that I've watched and I still remember fondly. And I'll watch like a few episodes here or there when I want to, you know, watch some nostalgic shows. And it's Lazy Town. Now you're wondering what Lazy Town is. So it's a show which has live actors and puppets. And so it basically educates kids to eat healthy. So the main hero's name is, uh, this character, this happy blue elf named Sporticus. He's basically a, a health nut that teaches kids to eat healthy. And the villain is Robbie Run, a lazy son of a gun that's very comedic. He's like a comedic villain, and he's funny. And then there's this, there's this girl named Stephanie, who is the new kid in town. And probably one the reason why Sporticus arrived to Lazy Town. It's a fun show. I have some favorite, I have some favorite episodes. Let's see. There's this one. Oh yeah, and also, fun fact. Lazy Town is another one of the shows where it has a UK dub. Well, except the... The puppet kids were voiced in the UK, had UK voices. Well, here it was the actors that were from, I think, mix. It was a mix of US voices and uh, the voices from, like, 
the Icelandic from from where they from where they were. So yeah, my favorite episodes is the cake episode. And there's let's see. There's an episode where Ziggy tries to be a superhero. Let's see. Next episode, other episode I remember is the remote where it made you invisible. And also another episode where you made where Pixel made another remote. Where you like you could like freeze and like mute and made and like fast forward. Kinda like a you know, like an actual remote control. That you could use it on the person. So yeah, and also there's some, it also became a hit on, on YouTube, called Memes. Most notably, the, in the fourth season, there's an episode called Robbie's Dream Team, where he, Robbie Rodden assembled a team of villains, <laughs> and he was teaching the three stooges how to be villains, and he sang the song called we are number one. Ha da 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 da. We are number one. Ha, and it became a hit on YouTube. Ah, so yeah, Lazy Town will go on. Where is that image? What the duck? Welcome to the new town. Okay, there's Lazy Town. And I'm going to put it. Come on. I put it in my childhood shows. Alright, so next. We have is number twenty two. Is it even on this list? Nope. So we'll just skip that. But it was Bob the Builder. I remember that show, but I don't really see it as a Nick Jr. show. I see it more as like a PBS Kids show. Okay, so number two. Next show is Paw Patrol. I'll give. I'll be honest. I have never watched this show. I heard of the theme. I heard the theme song, and it's a cool theme song. So I have no real, I have no real opinions on this show. Just that it, just that the dogs are adorable, and I like the theme song. So yeah, so, so where, where is it? And also, Paw Patrol is after my time, when I was an old man. Back in my day, we used to have cool shows, and now it's just mediocre. So yeah, I put Papa John having seen. The next show is number 12. And finally, I can talk about another one of my childhood shows. And mostly the reason why I, I put the most effort in this segment. Come on, come on. All five characters. So this show is one of my childhood shows that I used to watch back on back when back on Nick Jr. Back when I had cable television. Basically, back when I only had fifty of the basic TV channels. And one of these shows I liked a lot when I watched the cable television. So, anyways, one of these shows that I loved a lot. Is this show? It's called The Backyardigans. Now, what is this show about? 
Well, that's a good question. Now, this show is about five animal, like not little animal characters, using their imagination to go to go on an adventure. Go on an adventure. Some of the characters play superheroes or supervillains, and some episodes, depending on different scenarios. Now, each episode had a few songs that are kind of cool. A few songs that, are, that some are, you know, are pop and cool. Now, the five characters that are on the show is called. Let's see. Here are the five characters with their names. Okay, so the main character name is Uniqua, who is the pink bug girl, which no one knows who the hell she is. The second, the second character, is named Miss Pablo, the penguin, aka this plushie that I have. He doesn't wear this outfit because I made it for him. The third character, his name is Tyrone, the Orange Moose. The fourth character's name is Tasha, the Yellow Hippo, wearing the orange dress. And the last character's name is Austin, the Purple Kangaroo, which has another, also another plushie of this character, which also have another plushie. This plushie cost me 20 bucks. Well, 14 bucks and free shipping, because he is hard to find. This character and and uh, the pink pink Uniqua, I mean, and Uniqua the pink bug and and Tyrone the moose, they're the easiest to find because their plushies keep they keep remaking their plushies. Well, this one is hard to find because this was made because this was made back in 2006. So him and the young hippo named Tasha are out of print. So this why he costed almost twenty bucks, and him he costed. Like eight bucks. So yeah, I'm not mad about it. Oh, dang it! Stop dropping. Uh, uh, I'm getting old. Okay. So. Let's see, where's that image? Show me the image. Okay. Um, so now I'll put the backyard again on my childhood shows tier list. My childhood, my childhood shows tier. I also wanted to show off a few, some of my merch that I have of the show. So, these DVDs I bought a couple of months ago, and these two, because I wanted to have some Backyard Against merch, and now they're hard to find. Well, they're sort of easy to find, depending on the character and the, and the product. Well, this guy is hard to find. Okay, so... This is the first item that I got, which was the Austin plushie, which cost me almost 20 bucks. This Pablo plushie was actually a birthday gift from my uncle. Thank you, uncle. And I made a little, little pod show and some pants. Because it's P-related. Pablo versus the penguin, wearing a pod show. Wearing pants. And also a few months ago I bought... These three DVDs, which they all costed like a few bucks each. I think I paid maybe paid for two of them and I got one for free. Cause it it just had the DVD. They only shipped the DVD and the little cover. So yeah, so these are the DVDs I own. Surf's up. Surf's up DVD. Escape from Perry Tail Village DVD. Yeah, <laughs> the like the main episode is basically Pablo is yeah. This was the TV show on Nick Jr. Cause there's like, I think you have TikTok. Oh, 
you're talking about the about, about the movie. There's actually a a little episode from the show called Surfs Up, which basically he like Pablo like basically pretends to be like a surfer and they like go to a beach, which they try to find like a mystical a mystical beach called Tiki Beach. And it meets like these like these characters on the way. So yeah, there's like a little episode called Surfs Up, which was I think released in 2004, 2005 on Nick Jr. Yeah, so this show was like very old. But there's actually another movie called Surfs Up, which there's another penguin. Huh. I didn't put two and two together. There was an episode with a with a surfing penguin, and then there's another and there's a movie with a surfing penguin. I think most of it was penguins, I think. I don't know, I only, only saw trailers of the Surf's Up movie. But there's a Surf's Up episode. Oh yeah, I have the little description. Surf's Up. Surfers, Pablo, Tyrone, and Unica. Uniqua. Get some unexpected help from Mystery Lifeguard Austin as they search for the perfect wave at Tiki Beach. All to the south of some totally rad Afro-pop music. Oh yeah, because each episode has like different songs, dudes. Totally doing a, a Michelangelo impression. Surfs up, dudes. I mean, those sounds kind of like stoner. I don't know, but maybe there's probably a a, a movie on with the WWE. I mean, they did Flintstones, Scooby Doo. They did other stuff, so hey, probably if there's a surf sub movie with WWE as well. <laughs> so yeah. So these are the duties that I own. So yeah. Escape from Fairy Tale Village. And Cave Party. Where they're basically pretending to be people from the from the Stone Age. So yeah, so I own 12 out of 80 episodes. Also, basically the Bad Yardigans got a resurgence on TikTok, in which some songs became, basically became, like a meme, because people like, danced to the songs and like, became a meme. One of them was Castaways, and the other one was Into the Thick of It. Okay, I have the lyrics. So there's a little episode called Castaways, which some of the characters were stuck on a on a an abandoned beach. And so like three twenty twenty like three twenty twenty people started to rewatch, you know, the show again. And so this is one of the songs that became a meme and uh, very popular hit on TikTok. Do, 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 do. Castaways we are castaways. Ahoy there, ahoy. We are castaways. We're stuck where we are. With no house, no car. Castaways, ahoy. We are castaways. We were out at sea on a sailing ship. The rain began to rain. And the wind began to whip. We felt the ship tip. It was going down. So we launched our lifeboat. So we wouldn't drown. Castaways. We are castaways. Ahoy there, ahoy. We are castaways. On an island at sea. Just meet me and me. Castaways, ahoy. We are castaways. Do, 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 do. So yeah, that's... Oh, no, not... Oh, dang it. Keep doing it. I do. No. I do. So let's see. Next... Number 30.
Go, Diego, go. I have this on DVD. Go, Diego, go, we'll go to my childhood shows, because I remember that more than Door the Explorer. Also has a cool theme song. Go, Diego, go. All right. I should really keep track of. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Wow, barely even through half of it. But we'll keep going. Number 10. Next show is... Mm. Oswald. No, not Oswald the Lucky Rabbit. There's a literal Dick Jr. show called Oswald. So... My memories of this show. I watched like maybe a few episodes on it. But I can't tell you what it is. But I can tell you that I like the theme song. So yeah. I'll put Oswald in the cool theme song section. So let's see. Well I know that, that Oswald has a as a pet doggy, which is literally a hot dog. I think his name is Weenie. Which is like a little, it's a little like doggy, but it looks like a little hot dog named Weenie. I think. Probably misremembering mis it, so. Don't. Don't attack me, Oswald fans. Okay, so. What we have here is. Number 33. Okay, this show I remember, I think. So this show was like mostly like, it was like Muppets. It was like with Muppets. It was called Jack's Big Music Show. Which is kind of a niche show that only a few people that remember it. But I remember watching this show. And a cool theme song. I remember. If I listen to the theme song, I'd like remember, like, because I don't remember the lyrics. I remember, it's like, I had to sneeze. Sorry. Wow, my throat's getting dry. Okay, so no, no. Okay, so I think I'll put that in Hopefully it's on the list. Cause if not that this list is rigged! Uh, not on the not on the list. So yeah, if you hold, if it was on the list, I would put on the good show. Okay, so next we have is number thirty one. Okay, so this next show is called Pocoyo. All right, let me be honest about it. I have never seen this show. I have seen little like small segments of it back when like it was like when they were doing like commercials and stuff on Nick Jr. But yeah, no, I never watched the actual show, so 
I'm gonna put it in have it seen. Come on, okay. So yeah, that's my opinion on Pacoya. Haven't seen the show. Okay, so next, no, not that. So next show we have is number seventeen. Let's see. So the next show is Team Umi Zumi. So. I'll tell you the truth. I have this is another show I haven't seen, but I like the theme song. I think I think I remember the theme song. So yeah, Umi Zumi is in cool theme song. Okay, so next on the list is number 15. <laughs> this show I definitely remember. I used to watch it on back on Nick Jr. This show that I, that I used to watch called was called Nihao Kai Lan. Now it's basically like it's basically kind of like Dora the Explorer, but just like set in set in like China. It was like to like you know to teach kids how to say what was the line? I think to try to teach teach kids how to speak you know learn like you know Mandarin like Asian culture. So I also had like some like like cute adorable little animals. My favorite was, I think his name was, God, what was his name? Let's see. Oh yeah, Rin too. He was basically like the little like tiger or like yellow tiger. He was my favorite character. The little like little monkey and like little panda. Well, not panda, koala bear. So yeah, they're like also it was like kind of like a, like a little chibi style animation. So uh, that was adorable. So I have seen the show, so I think it's like a okay show. So I just can't rem I think I can remember one episode, which is like they were having a sleepover and they're making a mess, and the koala bear got angry. Got angry and so that stuff. So yeah, I put Nihal Kailan in the OK Show tier. Jeez, how many? Why did I put thirty-seven of them? Okay. Here is number 36. The show is called Play With Me Sesame, which is basically like a spin off from Sesame Street. Do they have, will they have the, the image of it though? I, I remember the show was like it was Bird and Ernie, Grover, and the pink, I think the girl with the like, she had like pink skin, like and blonde hair. She looked like, basically looked like a, a Muppet version of, of Alice. Except she was wearing all blue. Okay, so yeah, this was the show. Play it with me, Sesame. So yeah, this is this is my tier with Play with me, Sesame, which it goes into the good show tier. 
<sighs> oh yeah, fun fact. I remember back when I was young, like watching this show in this exact Yeah, I think in this exact living room. When I was like a wee babby. Okay, so the next show we have here is number thirty-four. Okay. Come on. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, so the next show we have on the list is Piggy Diggy Doo. Now It's an okay show. Oh, wait, I forgot to put... Wait, why does it... Uh, never mind. Okay, so, anyways. So, Pinky Dinky do. I watched, like, maybe, like, one or two episodes of it. So, uh... I'll put it in a cool theme song because it has a uh, it has a cool I'll put it in the cool theme song tier because it has like a cool theme song and stuff and stuff so let's see we okay 14 more shows okay we can do this so let's we can do this Okay, oh, come on. <laughs> number 18. Yeah, number 18. Okay. <sighs> so the next show we have is... Little Bear. Now, so let's see. It's an okay show, but I can't remember, like, you know, kind of a good show. Little Bear is an okay show, because I've only seen, like, maybe one episode. Or like a few episodes, but I can't tell you what it is. I can't, I can't tell you remember what happens in the episode. Or I can't even remember the theme song at all. It was like kind of like orchestral. And it's like soothing. It's like that reminds you of your childhood stuff. So yeah, that's a little bit. So I put a pretty okay show. It's okay. Can't tell you what episode I remember, or the theme song. So let's see. Okay, so the next show we have here is is it even on this list? Let's see. So yeah, no, it's not on this list. So skip. Number 24. So the next show we have here is Rubber Dubbers. Now. I don't think I remember watching this on Nick Jr. This feels more like a PBS Kids Sprouts kind of show. And I remember watching. So. So. Yeah. That's where. I, so that's where I put it. Cool theme song.
Number seven. Now, this show is iconic. But also, like, depending on where you live, would be iconic for... Okay, so, this is a show. Blue's Clues. So, yeah, everybody... Well, some, most of us, know Blue's Clues. Okay, so anyways, yeah, so yeah, that's some of the songs I know, like, Here's a man that never held me, what am I ever what am I ever well, you know, me, So yeah, I like the show, I mean, I love this show, super entertaining, super entertaining, and this show, it's a good show. I want to say it's part of my childhood, but I don't think I watched it. I watched like some episodes of Blue's Clues, but not like a, a lot of it, so. Also, I watched like either one episode with Steve or one episode with Joe, or for UK fans. Oh my god. Because I know there's a UK version of Blue's Clues. There's a different presenter, but I can't remember his name. Some of the comment section couldn't tell me. So I'll put, I'll put Blue's Clues in. Good show. I like this show a lot. And also, I love Blue because Blue's my favorite color. Also, it's a, it was a doggy. And it was a, apparently a girl, which I did know for a long time that it was a girl. Huh. Are you a stinker? Okay, so next we have is... Number 19. Okay. Okay, so this next episode is Franklin. Oh yeah, forgot to show the list. Good show. So let's see. Uh, I remember watching a couple of episodes of Franklin, but I can't tell you what what episodes I like. Wow, Franklin's not out of here. Well, if it, if it was out here, I would have put it on. Good show. So yeah, I would have put Franklin on a good show. So next, number thirty seven show. Um, <laughs> not GTA five. Yeah, I remember. I used to remember watching this show back, like when it was like it used to air on like Nick Jr. or like Noggin. Because there was also another, another like programming block that I used to watch some of the shows on a plus show called Noggin. So, yes. So this is the show. So, next show I'm talking about is sixty four Zoo Lane. As a great theme song. 64, 64, 64, so late. 64, 64, 64, so late. Dang, I don't remember the lyrics. Like, there one was a hum, and one is something, something. Do, 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 do. 64, 64, 64, so late. Okay. Uh, are you kidding me? 
it's not even on this tier list. Well, if it was, was here, it, I would have put it on Good Show. 64, 64, 64, Zulay. 64, 64, 64, Zulay. All right. So how many do we have left? I'm not going on this for a Okay, we have eight left. You know, I'm going to cheat for a little bit. Okay. So the next show, I, so the next number I picked was number 27. Come on. Next show we have here is Wow Wow Wubsy, which is this character. Wow 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 everyone, my name is Wubsy. Do, 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 do. Well, if you live in a tree, let's play, play, play. He got a daddy tail and he liked that way. Well, well, whoopsie, 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 well, well. Well, well, well. Well. So, yeah. If you could tell by my, for my love for that show, I would have put it in my childhood shows. No, not okay show. My childhood shows. Luckily, I have, a, I have a couple of I have a couple pieces of merch. I have this is the first DVD that I managed to find at my local Goodwill, which is well, well, Webzy, a little help for my friends. Well, well, Webzy, uh, Webzy triple feature, which contains Web Idol, Webzy's big movie, and Webzy saves the day. And then there's this one, which is Wubsy's big movie, but it's a toothy, well, custom tooth pack that I made, which includes another Wubsy's big movie, and, let's see, Wubsy goes to school. So those are the three, the three DVDs that merch that I own up from the show. Well, well, let's see. Let's see. We have two, four, six, seven. We'll do a little speed round. Okay. Number thirty-two. Ubi. It looks like little puppet, like little hat puppet show thing. Eh. It was okay, but I don't remember it. So, oh, it's not on it. Oh yeah, it's not on this list. So yeah, no. It's a... Oh, good. It's a... Sorry, it's a okay show. Next we have is number 30. Dino Dap. I'll be frank, I never, I never watched the show, so yeah, that's my opinion on that show, so I'm going to put it in, haven't seen it, next one is number three, number three. On left is not on this list. Oh, okay, found it. Let's see. Peppa Pig. I'll put it at okay show.
Number 20. Kipper. Huh. Yeah, I think it was more of a, like a PBS Kids Sprout show than a Nick Jr. show, so skip. Number 35. Oh, okay, I remember the show. The Upside Down Show. The Upside Down Show. That one has a funny intro, so... So I'll put it in a cool theme song. Because I've watched some episodes of it. I remember one segment which they try to find a lost, like, a lost, a lost pair of socks in a laundromat. It, just, it has, like, funny skits and stuff. Number 16, The French Beat Band. Haven't watched it. What's that image? Yes. Haven't seen it. Don't really have. So, the last one we have here is 23. Max and Ruby. Max and Ruby, do 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 do. Ruby and Max, do do. Max and Ruby, do do. Ruby and Max, do 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 do. Another one of my childhood shows, which I have a DVD of it. It's called Party Time with Max and Ruby. It has, I think, a few episodes. Max's birthday. Max's new suit. Good night, Max. Buddy cakes, buddy party, and candy money. Plus these bonus Max and Ruby adventures. Max's butts, bug salad, Ruby's beach party, Super Max to the rescue, hide and seek, Max's breakfast, and Louis' secret. So, ten episodes. So twelve episodes. Then. Yeah, I have fond memories of this show. Watching uh, Nick Jr. at I also log in. So yeah, I put it in my childhood shows. Alright, so this is my full tier list. So yeah, this is my full tier list. Okay. So before we head off, I'm going to listen to one of my childhood songs. But I have to mute this part because copyright BS. So I'm going to mute this for a second so you'll just see me acting all crazy. Then I'll do the outro. All right, so this is where we get ended here. So thank you guys for watching my Nick Jr. ranking video. Hope you all are in week, and see you next time. This is Pikachu Master 542 signing out. Peace, and have a great week. Bye, and see you next time for some more awesome videos.
And now, let's exit. Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Into the thick of it. Do, 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 do. Hey, what about me? Whoopsie, whoopsie, whoopsie. No, don't end this video. No, I am the loss of our character. Me, me, me. Don't end it. Don't end All right, so here's the answer. In the UK dub of the Backyardigans, add Wawa Wubsy. The UK voice of Pablo is also the UK voice of Wubsy, aka this person named Janet James. So that's the answer for the political trivia question. Thanks for watching. Bye! And stay awesome.